So I know a lot of you guys out there are big fans of a ton of different creators. And I know that one of the things you wish you knew about whatever person that you're fond of, you're a fan of, was just more about them personally. And that's why I want to start a new series where I'll be asking a bunch of different creators, pro players, 10 questions to give just a deeper insight into their life and make them more relatable. All right, Ken, question number one. What is the dumbest thing uh -oh. that you've ever spent your winning slash, well, you're not really, you don't really make money off. Wait, no, let me not cook you. <laughs> what, is, what is the dumbest thing you've ever spent your winnings on? Dumbest thing I ever spent my winnings on? Winnings. I already know the answer in my head. All right, so funny, funny story, fun, well, not funny story, but funny thing is I've been getting, I got roasted for the, like, the GT, well, not roasted, but like, obviously people are like, oh, I know what he's spending his champs money on. But granted, we both know I haven't even gotten paid for champs. <laughs> so, yeah. And well, yeah, no, no, so. there's no way that's the dumbest. I mean, it's a car, but like, that's your dream well, no, car. It's not a dumb thing, but it just, I find it funny that people think I wasted my whole champ check to get the car. But it's how, like, wait, how much did that, which one did you get? So like, I, so the car, I got, I got a 2020. Okay. It's a good move. It was, it was, they were selling it for 145. Shoot, um, boy, rich as hell. Yeah, but I financed it. I didn't just buy it. I didn't, oh, I didn't yeah, 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 yeah. It's literally my first ever car, so I needed it to be on my credit. Um, no, that's smart. Yo, imagine yeah. you walked in there with a duffel bag and <laughs> just full of cash. Well, bro. <laughs> um, so, anyways, so the thing it? I ever bought with my winnings. There has to be okay, something. So, okay, so it's one of my favorite things, but it's also the dumbest because of the fact that what it is. Okay. I, dumbest thing I ever bought my winnings is my all, the off-white jacket. It's like an off-white jacket. I knew you were going to say that. Jacket. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the only reason it's dumb is because I can't, like, the fact that I cannot wear it because of the places I've lived in. Like, if I lived back in Memphis, I could wear, well, I could have worn it in Dallas, but. In, like, the um, fall, winter time out there, yeah. Yeah, but, like, when I first moved there, like, it wasn't. But it's also type of jacket, like, you just don't randomly wear, even though that's because it's cold. Like, you don't just put it on. It's a fucking. Hey, that shit's heat. Like a, yeah, it's like a flex jacket. Wait, how but much yeah, was it? it. Uh, I think I spent 3K on it. Shoot. I 3K. Okay. Three four. Okay. Yeah. Question number two, Ken. What is yeah. the most useless talent you have? <laughs> um, Most use. Uh, Probably, prob probably my football talent. Cause I think it's, un I mean, I don't think it's underrated, but I think people don't know because I'm so short, I guess. Quote, I mean, I, football I'm short, like but, NFL or like soccer? Uh, football like NFL. Um, I used to, I used to be fucking, really fucking uh, good at football. When really? I lived in Memphis, yeah. I can know, um, I can see it. You were probably, what, you a little halfback? Yeah, I played running back. I played both sides of the field, um, but as I got to like the high school year and stuff like that, since I was so small, I couldn't really play. I used, to, I used to play. I used to play running back, corner, and safety. Um, but like knowing corner, you can't really play corner being so small because of the fact that wide receivers are usually tall. Yeah, if you got up against um, you got up against a six three wide receiver, you get exactly. cut, boy. But yeah, I'd probably say that's okay. the use is more right now because I, I don't ever get to use it or I ever get to like do it. I honestly haven't done it in a minute, but I feel like it's one of those things that like I played so long that. I don't think I could lose. She, you know, like, like you, like, like you, you would like you play COD or just a, a COD for so long that you could get on and understand the game regardless. Yeah, maybe yeah, you're not course. shooting how you used to be, but you can understand. But the you're game. at a different level yet. I'd still monster yeah. though. That's cat. <laughs> That's cat. Okay. Next question: What is the hardest part about being a pro gamer that people who don't do it for a living don't understand? My answer is a, a good bit, actually. Um, I think it's like the mental aspect of of it. Like being a professional, I feel like people kind of chalk up the mental side of it. And like when you're mm -hmm. not performing, it's always just physical. Like, oh, he can't shoot straight. He can't do this. Even mm -hmm. like That's fact. today's sports is like the same thing. Like people don't take into account that like there's a lot of things that take like a a toll on you during the season. Even when, especially when you're playing bad and you're, you're expected to be good. Um, you, know, you know what it I, is? Or no, keep going, keep going. All right, you're good, you're good, go ahead. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, it's because people still have the mindset, like, like they're they're better at it with, with traditional sports, right? Because it's like more physical. So yeah. like, even still though, there there's still a lot of issues with that. But like when it comes to professional gaming, 
they're like, well, you get to play video games for a living. Like exactly. your life is golden. It's simple. This movie where, comes, like, where exactly it's like, what? You, that's all you got to do. You don't got to move. You sit on the couch all day and play. But it's yeah. like, I don't know the mental aspect. That shit, that shit eats you alive, bro. Especially oh, yeah. when things aren't going well. Oh yeah. Especially when like, I'd say I'm a pretty confident player, like super confident in game and mm -hmm. out of like super confident person just in general, like in game and out of game. And like whenever like I like my like my team's bad or like my confidence is down, like you can tell in my gameplay. Like it does not like Shit, you, you watch, saw it this year. Like, that's what I'm saying. You can watch my arrow, like you for sure, because you've teamed me so long, like you understand like how I play and like how I'm supposed to play. And like and you you watch my arrow, like I know I when you're I, I know when yeah, I know when you yeah. think like yo, can nobody fuck with me? Exactly. And, and then I also know where you're like you're hesitant about your exactly. your your personal performance. It's I mean, like, actually, bro, I actually I don't even think I texted you, but I meant to like the video you made on me and like explaining like letting the play come to me was like the thing I was literally talking to like uh our like uh guy sensei that works for one HP. Like I had mm -hmm. a, a bunch of talks with him like this whole year. Oh about, yeah, I met like, him. Just, I met him. Yeah. Uh and like capping them, but like just letting the play come to me and actually like be selfish for uh, like for once like i was never actually i've never been the selfish player so like it was hard like you know like kill horn and the times where i needed to be but like mm -hmm. um that was like one of the reasons i was like playing so bad this year was because i was trying to do too much like to like 100 percent just be team oriented when i could just play my kills only but i, I mean I well, that, and that, that's the thing though too is like when you started doing that it, that's how that's when you hit your own rhythm individually you know and then exactly and then you became like the kenny that everybody knows where once you hit rhythm you're oh, like ah, i don't want to yeah, guess you out, but like you don't part of it. everybody thought like uh kenny just fell off like da 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 da, da like that little thing right and they're like, like oh he can't shoot straight no more it's like I what find everybody and then i see people like where did this come from it's like brother like i'm like i can all i not many people gunning me respect no that's i mean it, it's fact it's issue fact. that i'm I'm getting caught off guard, just giving away free, free deaths and like doing the dumbest stuff. Um, but like that, that takes a toll on me for sure. Cause I know how good I can be and, and should be. And when I'm not playing like that and I know I feel in game that it, it's like, I'm not getting gunned every time. It doesn't feel like I'm like literally losing every gunfight. It feels mm -hmm. like I'm really catching my, like getting caught off guard. And also I'm just not locked into the map. Yeah, just like not, like, yeah, I'm, not feeling comfortable yeah. on the map. So yeah, okay. I think that part about it is like what people forget a lot or don't understand at least i feel like people that haven't done it definitely don't understand it and when the lows are low they're super low like when being a Ooh, professional you're telling like me seattle really surge cool. kill <laughs> kill my question in the dirt baby i was the hey look bro sub spot next question ken yep what is your favorite video game of all time uh some all-time favorite video game of all time is actually fusion frenzy um that's culture yeah that's culture that, that's like classic I, I have like genre type games like that's like probably my favorite game of all time when it comes to any game um uh, but i think my favorite like solo so, like my favorite like single player game is actually fallout those two are like top two really? fallout, i've never or, played fallout i love that game um the fallout and like there's like a top three but fusion frenzy by far fallout left for dead and uh fusion frenzy so what about fps games. FPS, uh, it has to be COD. I don't think I, I don't think I've loved any other game l like COD, um, like for so long. Okay. Granted, like nowadays, sometimes it can get if he were like motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the games, but like that's nature of it though. Uh, but like all, even like all the old CODs, like bro, like MW3, like I, I don't think I don't think I've ever grinded a game like I've grinded MW3 back in the day. No bull. Okay. I was winning chips and Halo back then. I didn't play that game. For sure. <laughs> All right. Next question. If you could ban anything in real life, what would it be? Ban? Yeah, ban it. Like if it was a video game and you could just veto that bitch. Taxes. <laughs> oh, dead ass. Yeah. I swear to God. Yo, last year, Ken. Well, I didn't want to know what your taxes are going to be like this year. But, but, but I bro. A, I got a list of it. Yo, and the IRS got to catch me on God. Like I might be going God. away for ten years because like there's no shot. I just need to break down what they're doing with that. Like, <laughs> let me see an infograph of where my money is going because they took was ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, yo, yo, I almost fell Damn. to the floor. I ever tell you the story. I ever tell you the story. Like, 
uh so the first when i joined ogla and i moved to la mm -hmm. and i got my first check in la i like went oh, to eric God. and was like yo like i think they messed up my check like i ain't getting the right amount <laughs> And I'm like showing him and we're having this whole process for about a month or two. And it just came down to it. And it was like, it's just taxes. And I'm like, taxes? what? Yeah. Yo, that's, that's taxes. My, they took all my cash. They took that all ass, my cash. I'm hitting the IRS up like, yo, Donnie Trump is paying less taxes than oh, me. So yeah, something got to make sense here. I mean, that's the easy answer. No, yeah, that's a good one. I'll be honest. I knew you were going to go with some with money related. Oh yeah, has to be. I know oh, 100% though, I agree. Taxes is what I would ban. Question number six, what's your favorite movie of all time? Star Wars. Yeah, I knew Not that. that was just, wait, which which one specifically? You have one? The Sith. Okay. I think that, people that will argue that one. But I think it's because it's the, it's for one, that movie has everything. I'm not going to it, but it has everything because I don't want to spoil it just in case anybody hasn't seen it. If you haven't seen if it. If you I haven't have seen it. Revenge of the Sith, yeah. Well, like, you okay, I mean, it is like, when Darth Vader is born, but I feel like the like the revenge arc in the movie, like the the emotional arc, like the fact that he changed to the dark side to save his mm -hmm. wife, and overall like his mom, that like all that in the movie, and then like Obi Wan losing his best friend to the dark, like that, yeah, that that movie hit. No, nah, that's that facts. movie that's hits facts. like that's losing facts. your best friend to the dark side, and like it's like your little brother, like your your Padawan, and you don't, and and Obi Wan didn't understand what. Anakin was going through. He's losing. He lost his mom. He's about You're to lose spoiling the whole thing like, now. You said you want to go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And then like, and then like, you got like the 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 Jedi masters treating him like nothing. Like Anakin's supposed to be one of the strongest people of all time, which he is. But in the moments like they didn't understand. It was treating like he ain't shit. But they they treating him like yo, you can't even come. Like <laughs> we don't want you there. You're not cool. You're, like, You're not invited to the function. Exactly. Then you have Palpatine in his ear like yo, I can save your wife. I can give you all the power you want. Like, that movie is <laughs> not like, bro. That is goody. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay, question number seven. Name one product that you can't live without. Product. It could be anything, realistic. Like, it could be like yeah. hand sanitizer, cologne. I don't know. Um, It had to be like probably my face wash right now. Like, if I wasn't going into like, like shit like my phone or my, like the obvious answer, like my phone, my PC. Like some random ass answer, I go on my face wash. Hey, no cap. Um, hey, no cap. Pause before I say this, but the skin was looking good, bro. Last time appreciate I it, bro. What do you what what kind of uh face wash is it? It's uh it's like this super strong ass one. It's called like Panoxyl. And it has like can't think of the I think it's like some like citric acid. Like not No, it might be it might be that. citric acid. It might be, but it it super works. Like, I, it's been clear my skin. Like I just been I broke out like a, a few days ago because I've been eating terribly. But like, bro, it literally like super clears it like instant. Yeah. And it's actually, I feel like it's supposed to be bad for you, but apparently like I've gone to like multiple dermatologists and they tell me that it's the best, like the best shit. Bro, and you know how that is like, though, is like. It bleaches, it like bleaches my like uh, towels. Really? Oh, so yeah. it's like super like, When strong. I wipe my face, like it bleaches my towels, but. Hey, fuck it, it works my, for you. My skin's so oily like that. I need it. Yeah, you so, need it to. So yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing. Is like, like, it might be trash like, for me, but God, like for you. Yeah. Cause our, you know, cause I'm pale as hell, and you're, you know, my bad. Nah, you know it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> Question number eight: If you were arrested for no reason, what would your friends and family assume you've done? Uh, uh, uh. Now that I have my GTR, probably evading the the IRS. Yes, yeah, like a slow, little speed, like a little speed, like a high speed chase. Wait, what's the fastest you've ever went? You don't have to say it if. Uh, you yeah, that's federal, bro. That's federal. Uh, I, yeah, I get asked in my chat. I'm like, hey, I hit 140 in the bench I before. I don't go. I don't go past the speed limit, bro. Uh, what you mean? I don't, uh, yeah, listen, I don't go past the speed limit. Nah, hey. I actually hit like um. Um, I had like 130 yesterday, Ooh, I think. Yeah. Bro, there, there ain't, ain't no better feeling like instant adrenaline, bro. When you pedal 100%. to the floor and you, you just suck to the back of the chair. The only issue is like, I can't like the, like, um, the roads be so bumpy and my car is actually oh, super yeah. low to the ground, like super, super low. No. Yeah. You have to be, you have to be careful. No lie. I've scraped my shit so many times, but you get it on like a good LA road, which is rare. That shit is my bad. Oh, no, you good? Uh, I was listening, but my you gotta let me. You gotta let me drive it. 
I got you. Say less. All right, Go question ahead. number nine. Oh, well, this is actually, so my editor put flip the script. So if you want, you don't have to, but you can ask me a question. Oh. Um, He's trying to set me up, what? God, let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think, random question. Will I come um, back and team with you? Yes, Kenny, I will. Yes, I will, Ken. Only if you want. <laughs> um, if you can go pro, I, I get asked this all the time, but I want to know your answer. If you can go pro any other game, what would it be except Halo? Except Can't Halo? be Halo. Like if I was, if I was good enough. Like, like, yeah, like, like if, a you could, if you could grind it right now and be good and be enough good. to go pro in it, don't matter what game. Like you could, like you, like uh, this. Let's say you pick the game, you're automatically going. Yeah. Pro, like, okay. Okay. Shit. Which game makes the most money? Who got the highest salary? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. About. No, honestly, it'd be tough. It'd either be it. League probably pay, makes the most. Well, Dota makes the most money. Yeah, yeah, but I, I would probably say if it was, it's hard because if it was right now, Valorant, right? No, like I would either say Valorant or League. Like League, League. has been like godlike for a while, but yeah. if it was a couple of years ago, Counter Strike, hands down. Like if I was, okay. if I was like simple. Yeah. If I was that that's guy, I was him. Yeah, I do Counter Strike. Yeah, that's that's pretty lit. I feel like Counter Strike. You like that's the thing about Counter Strike. You, I feel like you have to be that flashy player to be known in the Counter Strike. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But then again, then, like, league, league, like you just have to be a good team because then everybody or you could be faker. Good team. But like that's the thing about a faker though. It's like, yeah, you could be faker and be that one guy. But I'm saying like in, when it comes to CS, like. You you like could you be that know, guy, like, yeah. Like, like you example, could be that like, guy. I can a, say a guy named like Gala. You wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't. You probably don't know who Gala is, but he plays for LP, like Chinese. But he's like probably the best AD carry in the world right now, or Viper. But it's like you don't know them unless you watch like hear about their teams, like them being good. Yeah, like, no, like, yeah, I know what you mean. CS, you can... I know a lot of CS players as well. Like a lot of people know a lot of CS players because they get the flashy like. Yeah, where you you players. you know like oh that player's nasty even though he's on like a tier two team. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah, this, exactly. yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, now that makes sense. But, yeah, it would be count. You know what? I'm gonna say, final answer would be Counter Strike. But okay, I can't that. I'd be spotty and simple on them keys, baby. All right, <laughs> last question. Your life is a movie, okay? Mm -hmm. What is the title? Oh, uh, Kenny's Angels. Kenny's Angels. <laughs> Um, this is actually wait, a tough one. That's kind of a good I just question. Do I up the title yeah. or do I name a title of a movie? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, do I pick a movie already made and just. I, you can do whatever you want. You can either make, you can either like, like, you know how like Charlie's Angels, you did like, that's why I said like Kenny's Angels. You could do that okay. or you could just make some up. If you could think of something, it's kind of a tough let question. Think, no, I, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I can think of one for sure. Star Wars Revenge of the Kenneth. <laughs> that's what I was just thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm trying to also think how the movies are, like plays out, and that's why I think Revenge of the Sith because I think it, it kind of goes well with like what we just did. Like, I feel like if like, for example, if like I'm Anakin in the movie once mm -hmm. again, then I'm getting treated like shit. Granted, I'm not getting treated by shit by the people. I'm with, oh yeah, but yeah, but no, no, I, I see, yeah, I see. Like my peer, like any, like anybody, like in the community. And then I come back and I'm just God, which is Darth Vader. Oh, um, that's okay. That's kind of hard. No, that's a good that's one. like joining the dark side. Like that's like joining another team and just being God. And I you like, were, and you were on OG technically. Are you on LH, you know what I'm saying? I have, one, I have a bonus question. All right, last one, last one. Yeah, you're good. This is actually a good one. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what is one moment in your career that you wish would have went differently? I think that's easy. And it better be with me, baby. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, think I, it's, I think it's World War II Champs for sure. Oh. But I think World War II Champs is like the... I was I at know. the peak of my career for sure. But like it was like I was best player in the game. I win champs that year. Like I feel like I get a little bit more hype. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you would have what? Four, four wins? Uh, Yeah, four wins. And like... like yeah. The, the rain. You have a couple MVPs. Like... You know what I'm saying like that was like the the cherry on top for that year. Like I, yeah, granted we got a second in BO4, but like it was different. I, 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 no, I know what you it mean. It was different. It, like, we were like we were gross at the game. Grant like we were fucking really fucking good. But like that was my first year into the game. Like me coming in my first year winning a ring would have been like super typical. Like and you were and you were dead ass hands down like the best player almost the whole year. Yeah. Like so, you know like, what I'm saying. Like even this year, 
you were like, hands I, down I, the best player last two events. Went. Exactly. And I feel like those two years went kind of opposite. Like, I feel like it would have been poetic for me to win BO4 because of the fact that I was getting like roasted the whole year, like trying to get mm -hmm. dropped. So it would been kind of like a little cool redemption arc story, but like, now nah, I would have, I wanted to win the World 2 one for sure because it was my first year back and I feel like. Nah, that shit would have been crazy. crazy. That would have been a movie. Yeah. Damn, at least you got one though. Shit. Well, like, I, I, I mean, you know, that is a good answer. That's an obvious answer. But I probably, if I would like come up with like an answer that nobody thought of, it'd probably be like the eighteen plus rule. Like, I, I, I would hope that 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 didn't. Oh, happen. so you could have been. Just like, would you? Would you have? Playing. You would have just stayed competing from AW. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's actually yo, that's actually see. crazy to think about. No, you were probably pretty nasty at Bo3. Yeah, I actually was at the beginning of the game because I was actually grinding at the beginning of that game and I was actually winning like every S D tournament. No, no bull. You know what's funny? Like, oh, what's just because I'm thinking about it. Well, it's not really funny. It's actually kind of crazy, but I I'm pretty sure I was looking at the COD Reddit the other day mm -hmm. and like in the last, I think it what, what, five years, which was like World yeah, War II, World you have like the most, the most, the most yeah. yeah. And so like, it would it would just be crazy thing, but obviously not saying that you would have won. But if you yeah. would have been able to play Black Ops Three, IW, if I would have been been able to give myself the time like AW, where I like just made my way up the ladder again, like in the game, I feel like, my like I was, I mean I was pretty. I mean we placed top six at the end of AW, but like, I don't know. I I wish we could have been able to make like that old. I mean that young like, uh, OGYB team like me, TJ, Kyler, Don. Oh yeah, BLT. see how you guys did. That's like a, I like play. that answer. That's a good answer. And I think that would have been that would have been lit. Say less. Hey. But you still ugly, baby, but you my boy. Thank you.